The purpose of a clean out is to remove excess nitrogen and organic matter from the pond. The organic matter is made up of fish waste and decomposing leaves and debris in the pond. It makes an excellent fertilizer to spread over the plants in the garden, but it doesn't look good in the pond. Excess nitrogen and organic matter are two of the main reasons algae occurs in your pond. It also causes ammonia to build up, and ammonia is deadly to your fish. The first thing we do when we come to your house is set up our storage tanks. These 750 gallon tanks conserve water from the pond, but they also give a place for the fish to live during the clean out. Once the pond is empty, we remove the organic sludge in the bottom of the pond by hand. One of our top frogs starts pressure washing the pond from the top of the stream down. We take our time pressure washing the pond to make sure we get as much organic matter out of the pond as possible. We put a clean out pump in the bottom of the pond to assist us in removing organic matter. During the clean out process, we remove the filter and the biomedium from the biofalls at the top of the stream. Plants are removed from the stream, divided, and placed back in the stream. An out of control plant is the first sign that you may have a leaky stream. If you have potted water lilies in the bottom of your pond, these water lilies have to be divided in order to get maximum growth and blooms. We do this when the plant becomes root bound. It's time to start refilling the pond. If we can, we use the original pond water that the fish were in originally. If there's not enough water left to fill the pond, we'll add tap water and add a dechlorinator to take any chlorine, chloramines, or metals out of the water. Sometimes when we turn the pond back on, a little debris comes down the stream and the water gets a little cloudy. This will clear up in a day. It's important not to overclean the pond. We want to leave some of the beneficial bacteria on the rocks in order to keep the ecosystem alive and thriving.